The most brilliant flavors always stay with you. So when I'm cooking, I have to capture them perfectly. Mila's innovative kitchen appliances not only preserve freshness, but deliver consistently perfect cooking results. Revealing the taste that nature created is the greatest gift in cooking. Endless product combinations for outstanding kitchen designs. Good evening, everyone. My name is Kirby Dumont, and I'm joined tonight for a very special uh, Mila Live presented by Tasco Appliances with my partner here, Brendan Stevenson from Tasco Pickering. And this is the second of our, uh, our two uh, sessions that we've done today. Uh, welcome back to anyone who joined us at our three o'clock Eastern session. Welcome. Um, and also, you know, we're excited to talk about some new topics this evening. Um, big ticket items. Big ticket items, that's right. And thank you to all of those who registered for our sessions uh, and also for all of those joining us on YouTube. We do encourage you to ask any questions that you might have through all of this uh, um, class this evening because this is a fully live and interactive session. We will do our best as we go to answer any questions that might come up. Uh, if there's anything that we do miss, please just uh, be patient with us. Uh, we will do our very best to get to it before we sign off for the evening. Before we get in, uh, started in talking about how Tasco really makes that purchase a wonderful experience when looking to invest in your appliances, uh, I do want to make sure that you subscribe to the Mila Canada YouTube channel. Also, from a Tasco standpoint, you have lots of different things that you can subscribe to. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Please smash the subscri subscribe button. Perfect. And of course, the purpose of this is to allow you to get more videos and insights on all the different appliance options that you have uh, at Tasco and of course for Mila Canada, all of the wonderful meal appliances uh, that you have at your, um, uh, to purchase right now. Now of course, we do have a special promotion that's going on with Mila right now yep. until tomorrow, right? So what do we have, Brendan? We have a free 10-year warranty, or free 10% off a five-year warranty. Uh, it's the best of both worlds. So you're getting a little bit of a discount. You're getting a little bit of a warranty as well. Uh, Mila appliances are excellent quality. So realistically, it's just that little bit of peace of mind added to the entire package. That's right. So this summer sales event that does end tomorrow, we want to ensure that all of you are able to take advantage of this. Uh, it is a fantastic, this double dip promotion typically only comes around once a year and really gives you the best of all worlds with our partners at Tasco. So Brandon, when we you know, talk about making it easier to shop, um, how many different locations does Tasco have to uh, help your customers? Yep. So Tasco has six different locations. Uh, so we have our Burlington, Brampton, Mississauga, Richmond Hill, Toronto, and the Pickering location where I'm from. Okay. We also have that Mila next door location, or uh, Tasco next door location, which houses beautiful appliances such as Mila. Um, and yeah, that's, that's our main, main go-to's, but of course. Perfect, perfect. And you know, uh, all of the appliances that we talked about, and of course this afternoon we focused on built-in cooking with our convection ovens, combi steam, speed ovens, and things like this. Um, you know, what options do your customers have when they come into a Tasco store? Are they going to see just a few pieces of Mila product or are they going to have a whole assortment of products? We have an absolutely beautiful showroom. Uh, pretty much all the Tasco showrooms have some sort of Mila display and they all pretty much have everything, I would say everything and more. Uh, our, I know our Pickering location has a very nice, uh, very, very nice display where we have pretty much everything like the the 48 inch range, 36 inch all gas range, refrigeration, cooking, dishwashers. We have loads of different options for dishwashers. So uh, we've got you covered over at uh, Tasco. And really I think the main focus here is that everything that we've talked about this afternoon and then again this evening, there are samples that people can come and see. So everything we've discussed, all of the features and benefits that go into the Mila product, you'll have a chance to show them live, yep. right? Come on by a task your local Tasco and we'll be glad to show you around. Perfect. Now, on that note, again, interesting times we live in right now. Yes. Uh, we need to have lots of options for people to come and buy because not everybody feels comfortable leaving their home yet, understandably so. Yep. Um, what options does Tasco actually provide customers uh, to kind of differentiate that shopping experience? 
So Tasco is currently operating by appointment only. Um, so if you are making your way into the store, please ensure to call ahead to book an appointment. We are uh, pretty busy at the moment, um, but we also have our online. So you can go to tascoappliance.ca uh, and you can speak to an advisor on there. Uh, Monday to Friday, we're operating nine to five, and then we have extended hours on the weekends as well. Um, and then we can be reached by phone, of course, and by email. Um, so yeah, those are the main uh, ways to contact us. That's great, and I think you know, having those multiple options for people to take advantage of really yeah, kind of right yeah, covers of all those bases until yep. you know restrictions ease and people feel more comfortable. Yeah, to even walk still, into after that, we'll most likely still have those options. I know it's strange how those things <laughs> yeah. work, right? So, as we kind of move into the you know discussion about appliances tonight. You know, this afternoon we had focused on really what your core, you know, thrust is. When someone walks My in heart. and you say, you know, where does your heart stand when it comes to talking about appliances? And we all know that you gravitate towards our Combi steam oven, which is yes. obviously very, very popular. But if someone were to come in and you're making your way over to them, you haven't quite gotten there yet, and they're just kind of looking in the Mila display, you know, what is it that they have a tendency to gravitate towards first? So the big ticket items, like I mentioned before, Everyone that walks into that Mila display at our location, they always gravitate towards the dual fuel range that we have on display mm -hmm. or the 36 inch French door refrigerator that we have on display. We also have a side by side as well there, but the 36 inch French door is kind of our new kind of pièce de résistance, I would say. It's, pretty, nice. uh, it's a pretty nice little addition to the showroom. Um, so yeah, big ticket items like the range and refrigerator. You know, and I think, you know, before we kind of dive into these larger items uh, with the, the fridge and the range, uh, I, I do want to remind all of our customers that, you know, Mila is a family owned company. We're in our fourth generation. Uh, come, uh, we're, we've come from Germany. And, you know, really the, the intention of this legacy and, and, and uh, you know, the, the investment that you make in Mila is really because we, we build unparalleled quality. And, and we talked this afternoon about how, you know, because of our legacy and because of, you know, the passion and pride that we put into the craftsmanship of our products, they really do make them like they used to, right? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, all Mila products are built and tested to last the equivalent of 20 years of use, which means that in normal circumstances, these products are likely going to be lasting the life of your kitchen. And that's really important because it is not just an investment in a product, it's an investment in the lifestyle, right? Yep, exactly. So let's talk lifestyle, let's talk about refrigeration. Let's dive a little bit uh, into the new Master Cool 2. Master and you had cool mentioned two. that you have in your Pickering store the 36 yep. inch French door. So we actually have the 36 inch French door displayed in stainless steel. Okay. And again, going back to their stainless steel at Mila, we have clean touch stainless steel. One of the biggest things that people want is stainless steel that does not smudge. So having this clean touch stainless steel here, you know, you can put it, my fingers are kind of, you know, I just, I, I got a little <laughs> bit of sweat on there. So uh, putting your fingers on there, you won't see any sort of smudging. And if you do have any sort of, uh, you know, mess, because obviously you can get splatters and spills on there, just a wet cloth, that's all it takes to clean that off. Um, so that's obviously going from the outside in, that's one of the best features I would say. Um, apart from that, you have your push and pull to open so um, let's well, I would go help him because but we're being socially distant tonight. <laughs> social distance so when yeah. I actually so pull to open is actually when I'm pulling on uh, it realizes that the pressure is coming off and it's gonna assist me open that door because these doors I don't know if you can really see the hinging system on there they're big doors and you can have some pretty heavy product on there like custom panels or the stainless steel panels and then also when it's closed if you push to open, <laughs> oh. uh, for whatever reason, the push to open is not operating. But there you, uh, go. you did it before, and I you know, didn't even know you did I before I just touched it, and it didn't. Uh, but uh, regardless, we'll take your word for it right now. Yeah, exactly. So push to open is going to cause that door to pop open in the event that you have custom panels uh, and you don't have any sort of handle system at all. If you want your refrigerator to disappear inside the kitchen, just pushing on that door will pop it open so you can just grab your hand in there and just get into your refrigerator. So I'm going to open up this refrigerator here for and you. Can I actually just interject one second there? Yep. Because I think it's important for everyone at home to understand that the system does work. Oh, the Obviously system Obviously it does. Work. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really important as well when we talk about Master Cool 2 with the push and pull to open system, that it is actually also designed for greater safety 
because we want to ensure that little kids, you know, they're not going to pinch fingers. Uh, it is a gravity driven system. There's no latch that's pulling and pushing the door closed or open. Uh, but one of the things that is likely what has happened here is that you do have to hit it on the right spot. Yep. Um, if you don't get it on the right spot, uh, it won't react. Uh, but also you can adjust the intensity of how much you actually have to push. Um, we're at a bit of a disadvantage because, when, oh, it just did, see? I did it. There we go, <laughs> see? Uh, it actually um, generally pushed in the middle, but of course with push to open, it's designed to be pushed without a handle on it. So that's why we have uh, had our little snafu there, uh, the, um, for lack of a better term. So in this situation, uh, let's take a look on the inside of this. And, and you know, Brendan, you look at all different brands, you know, all different makes out there. Uh, when we have to compare the fit and finish, kind of the design in, in the inside of the Master Cool, uh, how would you really rate the design of this? The design is, honestly, it's, it's beautiful uh, on the inside, you know, you're always seeing brands that have had the same kind of interior look for X amount of years. So just switching things up with that nice little uh, accent of the gray and the mm -hmm. stainless steel on the inside as well. It's just, it gives it a little bit of a, you know, a, a more refined look. Uh, and the LED lights on the inside, switching from halogens to LEDs. Of course. Yeah. Uh, no emission of heat, so obviously better refrigeration in that, uh, in that sense. Uh, so overall, the design is just, it's top notch. And I, I'm going to test you again because we did it earlier on. How many hours of life are these rated for? The LEDs have a 10 year warranty on them and they're rated for 20,000 hours of use. So if you can believe that, that's a heck of a lot of refrigeration time. But uh, Yeah, and of course those lights aren't on when the door is closed. So yep. that's actually the, the, the lights being on. on uh, and, and I think, yeah. you know, you mentioned that warranty and that's a really important thing because we hear this quite often uh, from customers who are looking to switch to meal products is that in a lot of cases, even with other brands that have LED lights inside the refrigeration products, they're typically not covered under warranty. And uh, that was a decision that we made in order to help, you know, add benefit to you, the customer, but also to give you a, a beautiful looking interior on your fridge, yep. right? Uh, anything else in here that you think we should chat about? Uh, anything else that you would point out to your customers as you're walking them through the product? Uh, well, the, well, it's kind of hard to see, but the Dynacool system, that is one of the main things that make this refrigerator kind of unique. Um, air flows basically is distributed by fans so even when the doors open the refrigerator is keeping its temperature and as you close it uh, that air is dispersed and it's keeping proper uh, temperature all throughout the refrigerator. Um, one of the things you were mentioning warranty, mm -hmm. um, this refrigerator can come up to with a full 10 year warranty just like all meal appliances so not something that we really touched on before but no other manufacturer out there really even offers a 10 year warranty. So yeah. uh, the fact that you can put a 10 year warranty top to bottom on this thing is ridiculous, not just on the LED lights. Um, the active air filter at the back, it'll remove odors inside the refrigerator and the crispers as well. So the crispers, you're gonna have a higher humidity crisper that's adjustable with the slider at the top here. And generally uh, your meats and cheeses would go down to the pantry below. But if you are a vegetarian, like we were talking about before, yeah, uh, you can put your more robust fruits and veggies by making a kind of change to go from cooler to a higher temperature. Uh, so you're gonna be able to store things like your carrots, uh, your apples, apples and things course. like that. And then you can throw your lettuces and herbs up in the top where the humidity is a little bit higher. Yeah, and I think, you know, Brennan brings up a really great point, and this was part of the redesign in the launch of Master Cool 2 was, um, you know, what we call our Master Fresh system. And, you know, the Master Fresh system, as you said, um, you know, you've got your humidity control on the top, uh, so it's perfectly tailored for your fruits and vegetables to begin with. Mm -hmm. But of course, you know, in a case like our uh, French door fridge uh, versus some of our, say, single door units where you might have a lot more space, you want to maximize the utility of the, uh, of the fridge. Uh, and also we say, you know, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, you don't want to say that the bottom that is typically reserved for meat and dairy, I can't use that <laughs> space. No, of course. Yeah, we can use it for anything. So you can make a fine adjustment. Just to clarify too, so that people don't get confused on when we say, you know, we can raise the temperature. Uh, the temperature in your fridge at home now is always the coldest at the bottom. And it's also the driest part of Physics. the refrigerator. 
When we make the adjustment to make it more suitable on the bottom for fruits and vegetables, we're talking to the tune of about a degree. Yeah. And that really isn't a massive uh, mm -hmm. change. And of course, that Dynacool you mentioned is fantastic because when you open your fridge, where does all the cold air go? Right out the bottom. Yep. So because of this, that Dynacool, which adds kind of an air curtain effect cooling from the top or the front and the back, allows for everything to stay perfectly fresh and cool without any fluctuations in temperature. You know, warranty I think you touched on as well, which you know I think is something we didn't really talk about much in our afternoon session, but uh, I'm glad that you brought it up. Uh, I do like to mention as well that you know, Rila, Mila really is you know, the only manufacturer in Canada who's offering manufacturer direct warranty packages of five to 10 years in, on top of the standard one year that all appliances come with. And it is really just peace of mind. Oh, 100%. Right? And it is at a discount right now because the well, you get the free, free five. five years, so you can exactly. get a 10, no problem, for exactly. a less. Exactly. So I think, you know, we've talked a lot about the lighting system. We've talked about, you know, the, you know, the interior and that fit and finish and everything that you get in there. I got a question for you, though. What if you see that control panel at the top and you say, I'm a little vertically challenged and uh, it's uh, hard for me to reach that. Does Mila send a free stool with that when I buy the fridge or do I have any other options? I would hope they send a free stool. No, I'm no. <laughs> we don't. We don't. There's no free stool. What? No free stool. <laughs> Uh, so there is the, uh, you do have the ability to control the crisper down below here. Yep. Uh, however, the, uh, the control system at the top. Anything from uh, our phone? Well, you do have the mobile connect app ah. and you can control your refrigerator with the mobile connect app. So you can turn up and down uh, your temperatures. You can uh, check on your uh, um, uh, filter statuses and Absolutely. things like that. Yep. So they do make it easy to kind of uh, navigate the Vertic vertical challenge. Yeah, see, I, I like to test you. I like to test. Uh, you know, kind of expanding a little bit on that, uh, mobile control and our Mila at Home app is really something that we, we like to talk a lot about because as, you know, our products evolve, we will start to see this much more frequently. So we actually do have mobile control currently on a number of different appliances at Mila. All of our Master Cool 2 appliances allow this, meaning that yes, you can adjust your controls, temperatures, different settings from your mobile device. Uh, also our W1 and T1 laundry systems with the exception of our introductory classic models, our lumen and diamond dishwashers, and actually six of our hood fans. And as we go into future generations, it will just increase dramatically, yep. but this is a wonderful beginning to a long journey. Yep. Uh, in that mobile app, and a, a very quick little aside before we move on to our, our range products, um, are really beneficial little things that help you, the customer, in your day-to-day. -day. And one thing that you can adjust in the app is what's called Super Cool and Super Frost. Yes. Super Cool uh, is a very simple adjustment to lower the temperature a couple degrees. Now, when might I use that? So in the event that you're coming home from the grocery store, you know, you have room temperature products that you're gonna be putting inside your refrigerator, that's gonna throw off the temperature inside the refrigerator, which actually kind of affects other things inside the refrigerator. So you're gonna throw that super cool on and you can turn it off with your app, turn yep. it on with the app. Uh, so it's basically just gonna drop the temperature down a little bit more, telling it that, you know, there's things that are going in there at room temperature and we want it to chill a little bit more. And then the super frost, much in the same sense, drops the freezer down to yep. minus 30. Yep. So you're gonna be able to, uh, uh, same thing, if you're putting things in there uh, that you're wanting to A, preserve, oh, well, it's not gonna, it's actually a little bit a gentler of a freeze as well. Yeah, so it's not like a blast chill. Yeah, it's not a blast chill. It, exactly. It's really intended, and I always use the example of something like spaghetti sauce, where if you're, if you're you know, freezing it very slowly, the, the tomato sauce can sour a little bit, right? And that's not going to give you a pleasurable experience. Uh, by dropping the freezer to minus 30, it's going to freeze it very rapidly. Again, it's all food preservation, exactly. right? Exactly. We want to make sure that everything in the fridge and freezer is lasting a long time. Now on the freezer side, and it's hard for us to see here, of course, we do offer all of our master cools in multiple shapes and sizes. We have single door units in both fridges and freezers uh, of multiple uh, sizes and the freezers from 18 inches up to 36 inches on single door fridges from 24 up to 36. We have our beautiful 36 inch French door 
as well as what we call our bottom mounts, which are single door on the top with a freezer drawer on the bottom. Uh, so it's hard to see in the freezer. Uh, on our single door units, we utilize the same glass shelving that you see in the fridge for that consistent fit and finish. Uh, but all of them do have ice makers. And on these ones, you can pull out the ice maker. I know it's probably hard for us to get a uh, shot in there, but take my word for it. There is an uh, ice maker. There is an ice maker. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and all of the racks inside are also um, coated with a special, uh, special coating. So that way, um, any sort of cellophane or things like this uh, can actually, won't tear or shred or cause any, uh, any uh, problems inside the freezer. Uh, so uh, we actually have a question from uh, Joanne, Diana. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, can I install my own handles on the door? Ye well, yes yeah. and no. Okay. That's, if you're going with the stainless steel panels, yeah. of course, you're going to have the matching handles to the rest of the meal appliances. If you're going with custom panels, of course, you can install your own handles mm -hmm. uh, that are in your uh, kitchen. You know, if you're trying to ma match up your fixtures, the, yeah. the poles, the knobs, the things like that. So if you wanted to install your own handles, short answer is yes. Yeah, so I think, you know, kind of getting on, uh, just kind of wrapping that one up. Um, for certain products like our bottom mount and our French door units, we actually sell them in panel ready versions and also what we call our stainless frame version. So they come out of the box with stainless steel panel and a Mila handle on them already. And in that case, you wouldn't change out the handle. However, if you buy a panel ready version of the refrigerator or freezer, uh, all of the stainless panels for those actually do not come pre-drilled. So what that means is that you could actually yeah. have a Mila stainless steel panel with your own yep. custom handle or you could have a custom cabinet panel with a Mila handle. Yep. It really gives you that flexibility. Thank you very much, Joanna. That was a great question. Appreciate that. So should we move on? Or I we was going to say one oh, last thing about the refrigerator. Okay. Dual compressor, yeah. dual evaporator. This is a huge when it comes to refrigeration. Most refrigerators out there on the market have one compressor and one evaporator. So what you're doing is you're sending dry cold air from your freezer where you have next to no humidity and sending it up inside your refrigerator, throwing off the humidity levels inside your fridge, picking up moisture, odor, and bacteria, and carrying back down to the freezer and creating frost burn. This system separates your freezer and your fridge so that you have humid air for the fridge, dry cold air for the freezer. You're not going to mix the two, so you get ultimately what we've been talking about, better food preservation, forever Absolutely. care, better care for your products inside this thing. Exactly, exactly. That's fantastic. fantastic. And I always forget about that one, yeah, so thank you very much. <laughs> All right, well, we've looked at one of our larger items, and you know, I think maybe we should take a look in what really is another one of the superstars of the Mila lineup, and that is our wide assortment of range products. Uh, the range was introduced to Mila, actually quite a fairly new addition back in 2014. And really why we introduced this was to kind of round out the whole Mila kitchen experience. And, you know, we have different sizes, obviously, to meet pretty much any kitchen need. And uh, I'm sure you're going to tell me, what sizes do we have? 30, yeah. 36, yeah. and 48. There you go. And our 48-inch range, we actually call our Mila Culinary Center. Uh, some of you who may have tuned into our other Mila Live Discovery classes may have, you know, actually seen my, my partner, Marilyn, talking and uh, cooking on our 48-inch Culinary Center. Uh, and in this case, we don't have one at our disposal right here, but we do have a dual-fuel 36-inch model on display here that we can talk a little bit about. Because obviously when it comes to range products, the design and consistency and how this will look in your kitchen is meant to perfectly mesh in with all Generation 6000 cooking appliances. So Brendan, when someone comes into the store and they're taking a look at this product, what are the types of things that usually really catch their eye or things that you talk about with them? Well, it's the fit and finish of the product. We have it installed very nicely at our showroom. You're able to flush mount the uh, range to the countertop. So if you actually see here, this is like this is seamless, like going from range to uh, countertop, you can barely feel even an edge there. Yep. And then the, the height of the actual bull nose as well is basically to the standard countertop size. So it all kind of seamlessly integrates into your cabinetry and your countertops looks beautiful. Um, you can push it right in nice and flush. And the other thing that obviously people notice is the control surface for this going back to M-Touch. Right. We have it all there. We have the ease of cooking in there. 
Um, all those gourmet center options. If you don't know how to cook something, it'll cook it for you. It's like essentially having a professional chef with you at all times to guide you along the way. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, uh, other than that, it's a pretty sleek looking stove. I, 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 I think it's the most, it's the sexiest range in the market today by far. Like, well, we don't have to mince words. It's perfect. Uh, yeah, that's exactly. the truth. That's yeah. the truth. Yeah. You know, and getting back to the design functionality of this too, and, and this really, uh, you know, did weigh heavily on our thoughts while we were designing and, and bringing the range to market was, you know, this whole concept of um, flush mounting with zero clearance of the surrounding cabinetry, meaning that, you know, you as the customer, when you're in the design phase of your kitchens, actually can go up to an eighth of an inch away from the side of the range to your cabinets and countertops, really close, like you said, that seamless look and feel. Um, but also, you know, you'd mentioned about being able to push it all the way back. Uh, you know, you deal with other brands on the, uh, in your store all the time. Uh, is this something that you tend to see a lot of? No, no, we don't see it really at all. Everything, when it comes to a range, it's always going to be a traditional look, not a modern style at all. Everything's kind of chunky, bulky. Right. Uh, and in fact, when you look at like the clean lines and the design of even the top stainless steel, there's no cracks, no crevices. Uh, when you're going from the interior uh, lining to the stainless steel, there's no cracks and crevices. And a lot of main, uh, main competitors, you're going to see cracks where messes can develop. And, right. and a lot of customers that are you know, very finicky on how they like things clean, that's going to really be bothersome, bothersome to them. Uh, bothersome to them and they don't actually always notice that until they have the product right, in their home right, so right. this thing is uh, this thing is very very well produced German engineering of course now, now you did something there because of course when we talk about these big products um, we talk about um, ergonomics uh, that's a big part of what we do so uh, we do uh, depending on the type of range you purchase uh, if you go with an electric top uh, or if you have an all gas model, you do have what's considered our easy control. Uh, you have the most popular features in terms of programs uh, and oven modes, but of course our induction top version. And you know, we, we do like to mention the cooktop variations that you can actually get specifically in our 30 inch size. Mm -hmm. uh, and also our dual fuel models uh, leading up to our 48 inch uh, culinary center does have that M touch. And you actually just showed it, which is fantastic, is this lift panel. The fact that it will raise to a 30 degree height and it is sealed underneath to prevent from any damages from any heat or moisture. Uh, you know, that's really so that you don't have to bend down and, and, and adjust your oven when you're programming it. Uh, and that's an automatic function that turns on every time you turn the oven on. Uh, and as well, like other M-Touch products, the handle, right? The fact that we yeah. have that swiveling handle um, that helps you, uh, you know, navigate around that, that feels so nice. heavy-duty door, and of course the soft close. So if you're you're angry at someone in the house, you can't you can't slam that door shut uh, because it is going to soft close on you. So it is all in the details, and that's really what it's all about. But of course, on all M Touch products, and we do have these in range tops mm -hmm. too. Yep. The range top meaning that you just have the cooktop portion, no oven below. A great option for people who want to go with a pure line kitchen because this is a contour line design yep. and we only offer the ranges in con uh, contour line uh, is our knobs. Yes. So, so other brands have different types of knobs, right? Other brands have different colors of knobs of and course. things like that. You know, uh, there's no real rhyme or reason to that other than looks. Uh, yep. But on these guys, what we have is backlit LED knobs. So all of these knobs are going to be backlit. And that's just for safety concerns. You're going to know when the gas is flowing through. You're going to see, obviously, a visual cue of when the gas is flowing through. So you can, this thing's going to automatically ignite itself anyway, so you don't have ever have to worry about gas seeping into the air. But uh, it's Unlike just Unlike now visual. where there's no gas here. Yeah, that's exactly. Why it keeps there's clicking, no gas right? here, by the way. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's just that kind of safety and it does visually obviously look very appealing when that thing is in operation. And I think, you know, that, that's really what it's all about. It's, it's, we don't want the design to be in your face. We want this to be understated elegance. And that's really what the intention of the backlit knobs was, was to give you that kind of elegant look and feel. And, and you mentioned it straight out and that is, you know, safety as well. You imagine in the home you've got young children and you worry about them, you know, turning on the gas. And in this case, of course, as soon as you walk into the darkened room and you see that light, you You're know that know. it's been touched. And funny enough, because we have a very soft touch just to turn them on at all, um, it's very common for people just to lean up against it and turn it on inadvertently, yep. and that'll warn you that that's uh, been done. 
You know, I always like to, when I do training classes here at our, uh, in Vaughan at our office, I actually like to, to scare people a little bit. And it, and it goes back to having kids as well is, what if they want to play with this panel and I go like this? Oh, have I broken my range? Oh my no, God. I haven't broken it. It's actually on a singular groove system. And what this does is it actually protects it from actually accidentally leaning up and pushing against the panel. So there's no problem. We haven't broken the range. So again, it goes back to durability, right? Oh, you thought I broke it, didn't you? No, I didn't break it. No, I just it. had to reset it to the I know, floor. you have to reset <laughs> it back. You know, and I think it all goes back to that quality of construction, right? Yeah. And the thought process that goes into this. Um, we do have Joanna again. Thank you, for, or Joanne, Diana, thank you very much for asking another question. Uh, are there different heights available for the backsplash? Uh, great question. Now, what you're seeing here is actually what's called a back guard. Yep. Now, we do them in three different heights, okay? So we have what, do you remember what the heights I are? I don't remember the exact oh, heights. Oh, testing time. Yes. 12, 18, 24 inches. 24 inch. inches, yes. yes. Now, normally, what comes with these ranges is a, is a small, a uh, couple island inch high, trim. yeah, island trim, they call it. And really, the purpose of this is to protect the backsplash or the, you know, countertop around an island from any potential heat from the burners. Yep. Um, if you decide you want a different statement piece, you can opt for these larger ones. We actually do recommend it when it comes to our all gas models, and that's to help with airflow because we direct the airflow from the oven using these back guards, also to help protect your beautiful backsplashes. We do, though, have a backsplash, and the backsplash is a stainless piece that will connect the bottom of the Mila hood fan to the top of the range. Yep. Great question, uh, and then again, another nice little design feature that we have. But I mentioned about the high heat. So, should we talk about the burners? Yeah. All right, sure, let's do that's it. That's what this thing's all about. Because when people are buying a range, I would assume that they're going to ask you about power. Yeah. What is it about the Mila that kind of sets it apart or puts it in that top class? So the Mila has a little bit more power than your average range at home. Um, all the burners are going to be quite powerful, even the back uh, simmer burners, yep. I guess you'd call them, even yep. though you can attain a true simmer on all of the burners. Of course, yes. Uh, the burners are dual stack burners, meaning that there's going to be flame ports at the top and flame ports further away, so that when you do go to a true simmer, uh, not only can you attain really high highs, but when you do go to a true simmer, you're going to drop that flame further away, so you're not going to burn the product. If you want to melt chocolate, uh, do caramel, something like that, you're able to do it no problem. And, and you know what Brendan said is, is, is absolutely true because you know one of the big challenges you have with gas burners with cooktops generally is control, right? Oh yeah. You know this is why a lot of people gravitate towards induction because it's very very efficient. Super. And of course, you have to invest in the pots and pans oh, to yeah. work, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. You know you have to have those magnetic pots and pans, but you have that awesome control mm -hmm. with the Mila range. A lot of thought and effort went into ensuring that, again, we have that high, high power, just under 20,000 BTU on the whole front row of burners, uh, but also that true simmer, that, that low little simmer ring that gets it around 60 degrees uh, Celsius to either keep food warm or melt delicate things that you would normally need a double bur uh, boiler for, yep. you know, to melt things like chocolate or cheese. So you really do get that true power. And the other thing too that I like to mention is just the durability of this. And I think you talked about that kind of buyer's remorse that people get. Oh yeah, it happens with all the time. Cracks and crevices and everything else. Um, you know, the fact that we use an enameled surface, this is the same type of enamel process we use in our factories that you actually see on the inside of our self-cleaning ovens. Mm -hmm. So extremely durable. You don't have to worry about scratches or any sort of damage. And you can really go to town with a scrubby on that if you have any of those baked in messes that happen during your, yeah. cook, uh, your cooking marathons, right? Actually, when I was in Germany, they yeah. gave me one of the broiling pans and they said, here, hit this with a hammer wow. and see if you can try and damage it. And yeah. I smacked that thing as hard as I possibly could, did not even leave a scratch on the thing. I couldn't believe it. So, I mean, I thought I was like Thor with my hammer, but uh, no, the, the engineering behind whatever they're doing with their broiling pans is just insane. And now they're going to hire Brendan in Germany. They're going to see this and want him in our testing, uh, exactly. testing facilities. Oh. But <laughs> I think, you know, what you say is absolutely true. And, you know, it also leads into things like our optional grill and griddle uh, because it, it is about durability, but also that performance. Yep. Now, when it comes to the Mila ranges, you do generally have a choice. So in our 30 inch models where we have our electric, 
our all gas, our dual fuel, and our induction, uh, once we, we don't have an option for a grill or griddle. Yeah. Once we get into the 36 and 48 inch models, you can choose between either having all burners on the top or a griddle or a grill. Now these of course are gas driven. Gas driven, which is what I was going to point out because yeah. a lot of other manufacturers out there, uh, they're using electric driven griddles or grills, mm -hmm. uh, which is a big difference from an infrared yeah. grill or this gas driven uh, 10 millimeter thick cold rolled steel. It's uh, it's, uh, I love it. He pays attention when we talk training here. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, but, you know, I, and I think when you talk about infrared, just to kind of clarify for customers what an infrared burner is, and some of you might actually have it on the rotisserie on your barbecue. Uh, a lot of times you see it there is, is really a ceramic plate with thousands of little holes. Now, in this case, it's 27,500 holes, which are individual flame outlets that give you that consistent heat across the whole grill or griddle. Yep. And you're absolutely correct cold rolled steel. Now, I do want to make mention for all of you considering purchasing a Miele range with a grill or griddle, one of the accessories that it does come with is a, option, is a grill and griddle cover. cover. Yep. Yes, it's a two-piece cover that splits into two. It's great because especially on a 36 inch model, you can actually split it into two to cover those burners up so no spills, an extra pot rest, you know, makes life easy and then because a grill and grill never looks the same as the day you bought it. Nope. And you have to keep them seasoned, a little bit of oil, make sure that it makes that non-stick property and protects that plate. Uh, we want to you know, give you that beautiful look so that when your guests come over, they see that beautiful cover and that beautiful range. And then when they're looking away, then is when you go and do <laughs> your cooking, right? Is there anything else about this that think we should chat about or? Well, again, the, the seamless design in the griddle, one thing I have complaints about is the cracks and crevices of a griddle. Cause yep. you know, you can do loads of different things in a griddle. Um, when messes tend to kind of get stuck in a crack, it's not exactly ideal. So Mila's yeah. done a really good job on ensuring that there's no cracks and crevices on this griddle. Uh, so that your mess is contained and it's easy to, uh, to get rid of. You got this little drip tray here. Yep. Um, so all your grease and all your messes will get uh, trapped into there. So yeah, it's just, like I said, the sexiest range on the market. It's, uh, they really did a good job on this one. And I think, you know, let's not forget about the fact that, you know, you're pairing this range, uh, you know, with other kitchen appliances that you'd like for your meal kitchen. But also due to the amount of power that you have here, we generally will advise that you purchase a proper ventilation hood for it, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, Mila doesn't just offer our beautiful decor ventilation hoods that we pair with our cooktops and our electric or induction ranges, but also an assortment of different range hoods. Now, these range hoods actually range in two different blower sizes from 700, 700 to 1100 CFM. That's the extraction power you have that's needed for these professional type ranges. Both uh, internal and remote blower options. Exactly. So you have it outside on your wall or yeah. inside. And as we see here, with a custom enclosure by using an insert or on a wall, a stainless steel enclosure. Yep. This really, and I think I, I, I want to just talk about the expertise of our staff at Tasco, and that is when you purchase a range and you purchase a range hood, they're typically modular purchases, right? Mm -hmm. You're not just buying with the hood the whole one piece, you're buying the blower, you're buying the canopy or the insert, you're buying the duct covers, you're buying you know, rear venting kits, all of these extra pieces and having someone like Brendan and the team at Tasco there to help guide you through, I think is really valuable. 100%. Because every kitchen's different, everybody's needs are different, yep. and it's a pretty expensive thing to make a mistake on, right? Yeah, for sure. So I think that's, I want to stress for all of you, you know, Mila product, you know, we're here to help, we're here to offer advice, we're here to give all the tools that Brennan and the teams at Tasco need, uh, but really take advantage of that expertise with all of our Mila certified expert sales advisors at Tasco. Yeah, and even if there is a question that I didn't have the answer to, because I mean, as good as I possibly can be, there's always going to be that one thing that I slip up on or uh, you know, I, I need to ask about, and that's when Mila comes into play. They have an excellent service team. They got, you know, I can. Kirby, I can contact him. He's a wealth of knowledge. So having that tools to ensure that you have the proper knowledge is very important to me. A lot of brands right now, they don't really have that access to that type of knowledge. Someone that I can just quickly call, quickly email and get an answer or response from 
engineers, professionals that yeah. deal with this product on a day-to-day -day basis. So uh, that that support is is very 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 helpful. And we appreciate that, and that we pride ourselves in that. But you know, let you know, let's talk about this. We mentioned it this afternoon, but you know, how is it for inventory out there these days? Inventory is scarce. It's spotty. Uh, you know, any U.S. brand right now is going through a lot of issues just because of the manufacturing facilities being closed down. Uh, Germany has done a very, very good job with this virus, uh, as, have, has, as has Canada. Mm -hmm. But I mean, just the size of Germany and comparing their population to ours, I mean, that's, it's harder to attain. They're, of course. I mean, it's just they're, they've, they've dealt well and, uh, and their stock has never been an issue for me. Uh, and I don't project it should be an issue in the future just because, like I said, Germany has had the necessary steps in place and they have done a very good job with this uh, pandemic so yeah, and then and I and and it's good to know because we want to ensure that if you're taking the time to make a special appointment and you're taking that time to you know talk to someone online there's nothing more disappointing I would say than picking your dream kitchen just to find that you can't get it get it oh believe me so I think right it a now, lot lately it's you know there is no better time with our double dip offer right now with our summer sales event to take advantage of purchasing meal appliances taking that expertise of our TASCO professionals. Um, from all of us here at Mila Canada and Brendan, for all of you, you guys and ladies and, and uh, wonderful people over at TASCO, um, uh, we do actually have a question one from uh, question, Joanna again. Yeah. One last question here. Where are all the TASCO locations? We mentioned in the beginning, let's repeat it again. For so uh, all the TASCO locations from west to east, we have Burlington, Brampton, Mississauga, Richmond Hill, Toronto, the Toronto next door, which is technically Toronto, and Pickering, which is where I am located. So uh, those are all of your uh, GTA and kind of extended GTA options for uh, Tasco. And I can see that Allison Young, thank you for, uh, for joining us tonight, Allison. She's also asking, is an appointment necessary when visiting TASCO or do they take walk-ins? Yes, uh, uh, we don't take walk-ins at the moment. Uh, we are doing by appointment only, uh, just simply because we're trying to protect those young and old. Um, so we don't have too many people, you know, just randomly walking through our showrooms. We're wanting to make sure that the place is clean. We're increasing our cleaning. Um, we've, uh, we're doing appointment only, so uh, Allison, if you do want to make your way into a TASCO location, just be sure to call in prior to, um, and uh, depending on where you're located, of course, uh, just call into your local TASCO and you'll be able to set up an appointment. We are pretty busy at the moment, but uh, we'll obviously do our best to uh, accommodate you and your uh, needs there, Allison. Good. Well, I think we've answered hopefully some good questions tonight. Yeah. Um, for those of you who didn't get a chance to ask a question, um, you can always contact all, any sales professional again on, um, on their website. What's your website again there? So it's uh, www.tascoappliance.ca. Okay, perfect. So I would like to thank everyone for joining us. I do want to mention that unfortunately Brendan won't be here with me tomorrow. But tomorrow night, you can always tune in for our, uh, one of our Mila Discovery sessions, uh, tomorrow being July 16th at 7 p.m. We are going to be covering Mila Laundry Care, specifically an overview of the W1 and T1 uh, washer and dryer systems, just in under the radar in terms of the end of that wonderful promotion. Yeah, get uh, it and now. We'll, get it now. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And again, you could always be, visit milalive.ca for a upcoming schedule of all the classes that we do have. Um, I do want to remind everybody of the, uh, to subscribe to our Mila Canada YouTube channel and also from Tasco standpoint, yep. subscribe uh, to Tasco YouTube channel. We yep. have Facebook and Instagram where we are constantly doing upgrade er, updates and, uh, and uh, different marketing for what promotions are going on. So you're, you're going to be able to find a lot of different information there. Fantastic. Well, from all of us here at Mila, and for my partners at TASCO, we wish you all a wonderful evening and stay safe. Thank you very much and have a great night.